Hello and welcome to this Tolly Seminars online lecture where I'm going to be looking at the recent changes that the government are considering in relation to the taxation of termination payments. My name is Chris Jones. First of all, let's remind ourselves of the recent consultation that HMRC embarked on in relation to termination payments. The consultation itself was uh, relating to the tax and NIC tra treatment of termination payments specifically with the idea of the government introducing changes with effect for payments made on or after the 6th of April 2018. The government have decided that they will be retaining the £30,000 exemption in relation to termination payments, ensuring that those payments themselves will be free of tax and national insurance. And they will be continuing with the unlimited employee NIC exemption in respect of payments in excess of 30000 So there starts the good news. Let's move now to the next slide and look at the changes that they are proposing by introducing new tax and national insurance charges. Firstly, that all payments in lieu of notice, pylons, will be subject to tax and national insurance. Now, this is regardless as to how the payment itself is structured or how the contract of employment is structured. Basically, that everything that does relate to a payment that does relates to any notice period, that will be t subject to tax and national insurance and will not be subject to that first 30,000 exemption. The government are also saying that any other contractual payments will be treated as earnings, i.e. anything falling within the terms of the contract. So where the payment is made in accordance with either a compromise agreement which makes the, contract, the payment actually contractual rather than actually as a purely an ex gratia payment will be treated as earnings, whether that's in the original employment contract or any subsequent amendment to that contract. The government also say they're going to align the rules for income tax and national insurance such that employer national insurance contributions will be chargeable on payments in excess of 30,000. So whilst they're retaining the employee exemption for any size payment being free of national insurance, they're actually saying that anything in excess of 30,000, which relates purely to an ex gratia payment, will be subject to national insurance contributions. The first 30,000 will not be subject to employer national insurance contributions, but the rest will be. The government is also looking at removing the foreign service relief, which currently applies to payments made in respect of an employee uh, where part of their service was carried out abroad. That relief will now be removed completely. And they're also confirming that any injury payment that is made will not extend to uh, payments for injured feelings, only to physical injuries. So, uh, therefore, the emotional side of this will be removed and such payments will be brought within the scope of tax and national insurance. Now, the impact of these changes... Well, firstly, the tax consequences will no longer depend on how the employment contract is drafted or where the payments are structured to represent some form of, of other form of arrangement, e.g. payment of damages. Uh, so, uh, therefore, however the, the contract is structured, we're going to need to be looking very carefully at whether a payment is actually contractual, whether it relates to notice period, because it's only purely ex gratia payments will be treated as uh, covered by the 30,000 exemption, etc. And big question is, is it really fair that if an employee has spent a lot of their time working for their employer overseas and not subject to tax in this country as a result, is it really fair that any termination payment is brought wholly within the scope of UK taxation? Now, the reaction to these changes uh, has been uh, uh, quite marked if you read the, uh, uh, the tax press and the, and the wider press. First, the annoyance that these amendments will complicate rather than simplify the law. This is not a, an area of tax simplification whatsoever. It is purely going to adding more charges and make it more complicated in certain situations. Disappointment that the non-contractual pylon will no longer fall within the £30,000 exemption, whereby the employee uh, receives the amount outside of the employment contract, whether or not that is in or outside of that contract, the £30,000 exemption will not apply in respect of any payment that is calculated based on notice period. 
A surprise decision about uh, uh, the decision to impose employer national insurance contributions, making it that much more expensive for employers to carry out restructuring exercises because they now have to take account of the additional NIC that will be due on all payments and therefore that will need to be accrued in the appropriate accounts. Concern that the introduction of NICs will cause confusion among employers. Will they know what's taxable, what is not? Will their employment advisors and their employment tax departments let the employee, the the, uh, companies know that these additional charges will need to be accrued? And of course, unease that the imposition of national insurance contributions will make employers more inclined to reduce the value of termination packages. Many employers do pay over and above the statutory amount, which is one year for, uh, sorry, for one week pay for every uh, full year's um, uh, employment completed. And uh, some employee, employers now may think, well, actually, we offer a month. We might reduce that now because it's making it a lot more expensive for us. And therefore, the people that would end up uh, in the end suffering will be the employees themselves and indeed possibly the Treasury, because if payments are made less generous then the, point, the payments themselves will be less, and as a result, the overall tax take could well be less. And it's food for thought, because it's certainly going to be a reaction by some employers. Well, these changes I mentioned do come in, uh, or anticipated to come in, with effect from the 6th of April 2018, but the time of uh, speaking, of course, we don't even know the result of the uh, general election. But for now, I'll leave those thoughts with you. Thank you for listening. My name is Chris Jones, Chairman of Tolly.